State multiculturalism in the UK has failed. The Prime Minister outlined his vision while attending a security summit in Munich. And whilst thousands of far-right demonstrators took to the streets of Luton in an organised protest, leading to some questioning not just the content of the speech, but also the timing. Let's talk through some of that with Conservative peer Lord Tariq Ahmad. Uh, I mean, you've got to say, haven't you, in all of this, the timing couldn't have been worse. Well, the thing is, I, at the end of the day, what, what we're looking at, the context of what the Prime Minister said, he tackled some very important issues. And what he set right from the outset, and I think there has been some comment on it, is the importance of dissociating Islam from extremism. And that was the central point of the message. What's happened with the EDL and the EDL protests is appalling in terms of what they are standing for as well. And the Prime Minister, again, it reiterated in his speech that any kind of extremism, be it based on religion, colour or any kind of prejudice, is just not part of what British values are about. And yet people are looking at this and saying this is nothing more than finger-pointing at, at Muslim communities because whether he knew in advance this protest was taking place today or not, he, he could have tied this into the speech. The fact I... that, that, that he focused on mm -hmm. Islamists... Uh, is, a, is a problem. No, this is where the differentiation has to be made. Mr Cameron, the Prime Minister, was very clear right from the outset that Islam and extremism are two separate things. And he said that right at the start of his speech, right up there. So let's be quite clear. And he talked about a billion Muslims across the world, the majority of whom practice the, the faith of Islam, which by definition means peace, peacefully. And this is about, and he also made the important point, which is sometimes lost, that anyone who is devout about their faith, Muslim, Christian, whatever, is suddenly perceived as an extremist. That's not the case. If you are devout about your faith, you're anything but an extremist. But he's also saying within the context of that speech, surely, that if you're um, a Muslim, if you, if you have an Islam faith and you're not extremist, but you still need to move towards believing in the values of Britain if you do not do so. Well, I think there's this erroneous thing. I, I'm Muslim um, by my faith. And I'm also British. I'm of the West. And we talk about this difference and conflict that exists between the West and Islam. Am I self-conflicted? Of course not. Britain has many values which are relevant to Islam. And Islam has many values which are relevant to Britain. This is about unifying people, bringing people together and a country together. And who better to do it than the Prime Minister? And just one point on this EDL issue as well. There are some who are raising issues. Indeed, I believe Sadiq Khan made the point in one of his things about associating what the Prime Minister has said with the EDL. That is actually erroneous. And I think, you know, people need to be a bit more sensible about this. The Prime Minister is all about uniting people, not dividing them. You say it's erroneous, and yet, I mean, the basic premise of these far-right groups is about Britishness, about people being British. I mean, was this, doing this on the same day, was this um, foolish of the Prime Minister? Well, the thing is, you know that Britain is a country, a lot of things happen around Britain on the same day. This is far from foolish. What the Prime Minister has done, there is no conflict between Islam and the West. There's no conflict be between being Muslim and British. I'm a British Muslim, not conflicted, and they're the majority of people, devout, and I use that caref uh, word quite deliberately and carefully, is what the Prime Minister did. If you follow your faith, you're not an extremist, and let's be clear about that. But, the, but there is a conflict, isn't there? If the Prime Minister is saying that you, you can be devout, you can hold your views, but you're not going to get any state money, you're not going to get a platform with politicians or access to universities or prisons, if, you, you know, you're, you're not extremist, but you still don't conform to standards which he says are British. No, no, the standards are that those people who are extremists and support extremists or don't condemn extremism, why should they get funding? They shouldn't be getting funding. But you know what? A lot of Muslim groups operate without state funding. So this is not just about state funding. Let's not make it an issue there. The majority of Muslims, other communities also accepted, operate in Britain, work in Britain, born in Britain, live together peacefully, with harmony, and that's exactly what the Prime Minister wanted to say today, and I think he did. Lord Ahmed, good to get your views. Thank you very Thank much you. indeed. This is